I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn steps to find inverse of given trigonometric function. The example here is find the inverse function of f of x equals to 2 sin x plus 1 state domain of f of x and its inverse. You can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's look into the function f of x first f of x is equals to 2 sin x plus 1. We can write its domain range. Domain has no restrictions. So domain of f of x is x belongs to real numbers. And the range is since the sine value has been multiplied by 2 and it has been <coughs> moved upwards. So range normally for uh, sine x, let's find out, sine x will be between plus and minus 1, right? So range of sine x is between plus and minus 1. So 2 sine x plus 1 will be, we can multiply by 2, so we get minus 2 between, so we just multiply by 2 and we get this. It is 2 sine x plus 1, so we'll add 1 now, so it is minus 2 plus 1. 2 sine x plus 1 less than equals to 2 plus 1 and that gives us minus 1 2 sine x plus 1 and 3 so the range is between range of f of x uh, there's less space so I'll just use interval inequality is between minus 1 and 3 correct so that is how you can actually find the range. I hope that helps you or reminds you of the steps taken. Okay, so that is the domain range of the function. Now, what to do to find inverse of the function? To find inverse, we will follow exactly the same steps which we have learned, right? That is, we'll swap and then isolate, right? So these are the two steps to find inverse swap x and y of course right so let me rewrite this as y equals to 2 sin x plus 1 so when I swap it I'll replace y with x and x with y right so we have sine y plus 1 so that is the first step where what we did was we replaced x with y and now we'll isolate y right so to isolate y, we can say x minus 1 equals to 2 sine y. And we can write x minus 1 divided by 2 equals to sine y. And uh, y is equal to sine inverse. So we have sine inverse of x minus 1 divided by 2, which is y. So we have isolated. So this is this is the inverse function. Is it okay? Now let's look into it in the form y equals to. So we have y equals to sine inverse x minus one. <coughs> so we have y equals to sine inverse x minus 1 divided by 2 right so that becomes the inverse function which you could always write as f inverse of x equals to sine inverse of x minus 1 over 2 right so that is your inverse function now as you know this inverse function should have a restricted domain and range correct so we need to find that restriction now. So let's find it. And we'll adopt the same method as we showed here. So the restriction is that x minus 1 over 2, it should be between plus and minus 1, right? So it is between plus and minus 1. So we can now multiply by 2. So we get minus 2 is between, I mean, x minus 1 is between plus and minus 2, right? Now we can add 1. So when you add 1, you get minus 2 plus 1, less than equal to x, 2 plus 1, correct? Or you can say 
that the it is between minus 1 and between 3 do you see that so so the inverse has a domain so that becomes the domain so we can now write domain of f inverse x is x belongs to real numbers where x is between minus 1 and 3 correct so so you can see very clearly that as far as the function is concerned the range becomes domain do you see that range becomes domain so for the inverse so this video i hope helps you to understand how to work with inverse trigonometric functions so basic method is exactly same as we have learned earlier right so you can follow the steps learned to solve such questions I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.